Welcome back to the Pen and Inkwell. Second time I try and record in this, I've got the sneezes. So, I'm doing something a little bit different. You can hear me tapping. I've got a box on my lap here. Um, yesterday on my Instagram channel, I posted a picture or a photograph of um, three packages that I'd received yesterday morning, just before I had to leave the house and go out for the day. Um, I had three parcels all delivered at the same time, just by pure coincidence. All things that had been arranged to be sent at various times, but they all arrived together on one day. So a fantastic mail day or happy mail, as I've seen it sort of called in various places. So super chuffed and very excited. I wasn't able to have a look at them properly until this afternoon. Um, I did open a couple of the packages, or in fact, I had my daughter to open a couple of the packages whilst we were in the car yesterday so that I could have a very brief look at them. So I'm very grateful to her for that. But one of them I couldn't do until I got back home. And actually then a few things sort of last night sort of was sort of happening in the house and I really didn't have a chance to have a look at that until this afternoon after dinner. However, what I'm going to do with this video, these are not reviews, this video is not a review, this video is just me sharing with you what was inside those three packages and also having a look at one of them in a little more depth because I've already done a review before. On my lap I have a box, you can see I've already opened it, but I'm going to turn the camera around in a moment and show you what's inside this box. It is a William Hanna notebook. I have reviewed the William Hanna notebook before and I've done an unboxing of that, which is why I'm not going to review this again. But what I want to do is show you, this is another one that I've had. So this time this was a custom notebook that I had put together, which I was very happy about and um, took me absolutely forever, um, and Ari, going back and forth between different colour combinations because it really allows you to have whatever it is that you want. So I'm going to show you what's inside there. I'm also going to give you a sneak peek of the three pens that arrived yesterday that I'm going to be doing reviews of separately later on. So I'll stop talking and I'll give you the chance to have a look at these in slightly more detail. See you all shortly. Bye-bye. Okay, so what you can see in front of you is what I received in those three packages yesterday. I had one package arrive from the writing desk here in the UK, I had one package arrive from Cult Pens, and I had a package arriving from William Hanna. So, fantastic, brilliant, great day for me. So let's have a look. Three pens first. This is the Pro Gear Slim version and this one is called Sky. I wanted to get this because I have this, the Pilot Custom 74. And I thought in a very similar sort of finish and I wanted to be able to compare those. I reviewed the full size 1911 um, a little while ago that was sent to me by the writing desk. And I absolutely love that 21 karat gold nib and I wanted to try out the 14 karat gold and see how it writes by comparison to that 14 karat gold nib that I have in the Pilot Custom 74. But I love the shape of the Pro Gear by comparison to the traditional cigar shape um, of the 1911 and various other sort of pens on of that ilk. Even though it is sort of cigar with blunted ends in a way, I do love this. It is smaller fair bit smaller than that one but I am very excited about playing with this. I've just inked it up so I'm looking forward to writing with that this evening. Then the other pen that I had from the writing desk was this. This is the Sailor Licol and this is sort of very much a sort of entry point sort of pen and only comes with one nib, only comes with a medium fine nib um, and comes in a variety of um, colours and finishes and it took me a little while to um, choose and this one is the Lapis Lazuli. Um, I think they're all sort of um, modelled on various different precious gemstones and sort of um, colours from there because I was looking at a rose quartz as well that I really quite like the look of but I went for this because it's got this little fleck in there as well so I'm going to be looking at that and I'm predominantly going to be looking forward to looking at that because I'm also going to do a comparison of that with this. So this I received from Cult Pens yesterday, I ordered from there 
and um, this is the Pilot Prera. As you can see, very similar in size and look and dimensions. So I wanted to see how they sort of compared and they're very similar in price point too. And I also have to say at this point, fantastic service from both um, the writing desk and comp pens. Both orders um, arrive the next day and very well packaged. So these were the three pens that I received yesterday, the two, the three pens. I've done my, I think it's my pens up for this week just in case you're interested very much a blue pink theme pilot and sailor so this was the other thing that arrived yesterday as I've said I've reviewed you've seen before and it features in a lot of my videos this is my current William Hanna notebook that I use to sort of um, keep notes of everything that I do as far as the pen and inkwell is concerned and my um, inked up pens it's everything to do with my pens and I love it as you can see it's aged a bit it's got a bit of character on it now I've had this oh a few months I've had this since January or just the end of January so super pleased with this but what I wanted to do was see what the experience was like getting a custom and ordering a custom one and here it is so this is how this arrives it arrives in that box that I showed you very briefly earlier but then this beautiful box with the William Hanna logo inside here just like the other one did but this time this one's got this look at the color on the inside of there this beautiful sort of coral color sort of peachy coral color on the inside absolutely wonderful I have opened it because I couldn't wait to do it on here. But I'm going to put that aside as you can see. So again, it comes beautifully packaged like this. So if we open this up. So this was the custom experience. So with a custom, you can choose, well, pretty much anything. So I got to, they start you off by sort of looking at what colour leather you want. So you have the five different colour options of leather. This is the whiskey that I went with. And then the option of do you want a pen loop or not. And what I liked is the fact that it didn't just send me the pen loop, it actually fitted the pen loop before it arrived, which I was very grateful for because it was tricky fitting the pen loop on the other one. But it has sent me a replacement um, bolt, I suppose, or pin if I'd want to take the pen loop off. So that's sort of quite useful. And then it asks, the next thing it asks then is for the colour of the outer stitching. So I went for lime, if you can see it here, see if I can go in. So this is the lime stitching that you'll see around the edges, and down the middle and across the back. And then open it up. What colour suede do you want on the inside? So this is the fuchsia. I was the one thing I was adamant about is I wanted pink on the inside, and I love it. I am so pleased that I got that. And then the colour of the stitching on the inside. I don't know if you can see that. If I can go in a little closer. Let's pick that up. So I went with Kingfisher this beautiful bright blue which I thought really contrasted well with it. Um, I was a bit apprehensive because I'd asked a couple of people their opinions and they weren't 100% sold on my ideas but it's worked out very very well and I'm really pleased with it. And then from there then you get to choose your paper. So I've gone for three lots of dotted paper, three lots of grid paper and three lots of lime half of them in lime, um, lime, sorry, half of them in lime and the other half in orange. Comes with a diary at the back and there you go, the, you know, the rest of it is just the same as anything else. I haven't done anything else with this yet, I haven't, this is the first time you've seen this, but the one thing that has been sent to me, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to show you this on video or not, let me just open this and show you. When I first did my review, the first thing I, one of the things I mentioned was the, I'd like the option of a divider system. So 
David has sent me something that he's working on at the moment about an option to work as dividers. So I'm going to be trying these out in various colours. So I've got purple, burgundy, it's beautiful fuchsia pink, orange, and like I said, a petrol dark blue. They will just fit in there and we'll just sort of section it off, I would say. I can't imagine that they're actually going to be dividers because there's no tabs on the end. But the one thing sort of David did say is if you put tabs on the end is that they'd start sticking out side of the notebook and I don't really want that. I've made some of my own that I've put inside my other one but it hasn't worked out very well. So these, and they're branded as well and they're a thicker card. I really like that. So I'm going to try these out. I'm going to set this up and swap some paper around. I've got a fair collection of um, paper to fit in here now from William Hanna. So there you go. That's all there is to say. So this is what I had. I had this coupled with these pens yesterday. I think you'd all agree, a very good day for me. So thank you very much for joining me and having a look at my packages. I, I don't know whether you like these sort of videos, whether you want to see sort of things that I receive again, or whether you just are looking into the reviews. I'm just branching out and trying a few different things. So as you see, today you've now seen me custom made William Hanna notebook and I have shown you the Pilot Prera and the Sailor Lecol and the Sailor Pro Gear Slim in Sky. So reviews of those last three pens are going to come up later. I'm also going to do some comparisons of those. I'm going to compare the Pro Gear Slim to the Pelican, no not the Pelican, sorry, the Pilot Custom 74 both blue pens, very similar, both 14 karat gold nibs. So I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of those after I've had the chance to write with both of them for a little while. I'm also going to look at the Prera and the Lecol and compare those side-by-side -side as well. Both sort of similar market, similar size pens, aimed at the same sort of budget. Um, so anything else, please let me know. Please subscribe to my channel below and like the video and share it with friends. Um, otherwise, Thank you very much for listening to me again and I'll see you again next time on the Pen and Inkwell. Bye!